Hi, I'm Patricia Allingham Carlson, and this is my painting, Cloistered Three. This is part four of a four-part series. I've been working at establishing a dreamscape fantasy painting where I'm tying together reality with my imagination, and I'm sure having a lot of fun with it. In part four, I'm pulling it all together. I'm adding more details like plants and flowers. I'm balancing light values, putting darks behind the lights to make them stand out. And then to evaluate my final progress, I cover up various spots until it looks like it is done. I hope you enjoy it. And now let's paint. For the reflection, I wanted to get the colors sort of correct, but I was not looking for a very still water, perfect reflection, mirror image. I was looking for a suggestion of the scene reflected in water and not mirrored. And I'm getting down to my final details at this point. Bringing out branches. And I'm suggesting some pink flowers on the white tree on the far right. Because there were some white blurry forms there that I liked. Adding a branch from the side coming over in front of the tower to break up and add some detail. And some more ivy is growing up the tower as well. I'm enhancing the door and the door's reflection in the water. And now I'm adding some more white blossoms in a blurry way to make them look like there's just a cloud of blossoms on this white tree on the right. And I'm adding a little bit of pink to the white in some areas. Almost a suggestion of cherry blossoms. I decided to add it on the left as well because I think it looks sort of pretty. bringing out the tree forms on the back right. And I'm only suggesting another building on the top right in white, suggesting windows, but not spelling them out. So I can leave the viewer wondering if, if that's another building or not. I'm 
The whole painting is sort of a mystery thing. And what I like so much about the painting in this way is the multiple dimensionality that I get from a flat surface. It's very exciting. And I thoroughly enjoy painting in this style. So this painting is called Cloistered 3. And there is also a Cloistered 1 and Cloistered 2. And I describe them as timeless places of utter silence and peace. A place to go perhaps to dream or to meditate. My assessment covering up side by side, top and bottom to see what is needed. little splatter work. Just a bit more cherry blossoms to bloom on the tree. And a bit more highlighting with my white ink. And one more tree just grew up there to try to break up the regularity of the other trees. I'm trying to show you the detail here and the dimensionality. It's quite intriguing to work with these multiple layers of color built up on the page. Also interesting that this was done in a fast forward type of mode, but the actual painting took me several weeks with many hours of work. and a lot of imagination. But I sure had fun with it, and I'm just about done. Finishing up the accent work. And back to my white again for some more highlighting.
Done. Signed. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my series of painting Cloister 3. Talking about this painting, I describe it as a dreamscape, a mood painting. I use the term painting by intuition. And what I haven't said is how much I love painting in this approach. Creating a thought and a sense of place out of the random forms that are created by color and plastic wrap. I hope you can find some discoveries of your own if you ever try this approach. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And you can subscribe at the links below. If you click on the bell, you'll get a notice whenever I post a new video. There's also some links to check out with the products that I like to use. Now you keep on creating, and I'll see you next time.